Hello everyone, Wayne from the Cernan Earth and Space Center here. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at what we can find in our skies during this month of March in 2022. Lots of cool stuff out there for us to take a look at, so let's jump straight into our sky simulator software and take a look. So here we are, standing in front of the Cernan Earth and Space Center at Triton College in River Grove, Illinois, just outside the city of Chicago. We have our date set for March 15th in and our time is set for 9 o'clock in the evening, which is a little bit later than our most recent night sky videos. And there are a couple of reasons for that. The first reason is that we are heading into springtime, getting very close to the spring equinox. And as we get deeper and deeper into springtime and the summer, the days begin to get longer and longer. And sunset gets a little bit later and later every day. Now remember, you always want to go out at least a couple hours after the sun sets, because that way the sky will be nice and dark, and you won't have any residual twilight left washing out the sky. So a couple hours after the sun sets, which is getting later, another important thing to remember is that we are set for March 15th, which is just a couple of days after daylight savings time starts up again, and we spring forward an hour. So our time has jumped forward an hour, and... The sunset is getting later, so we've kind of got a double whammy there, pushing us deeper into the night, um, which means there's a little bit bigger jump in some of the stars that we'll see. So if we look here towards the west, we can see Orion very easily in the sky, just over the western horizon, right there. And then along with Orion, we have the rest of our winter circle. So we have Taurus the Bull, Auriga the Charioteer, the twins Castor and Pollux of Gemini. We have the little dog and the big dog, Canis Minor and Canis Major. So all of those, all six of our winter circle constellations are still visible here heading into the early springtime. And they'll be visible for a little bit longer, um, which is good because they're very easy to spot up there in the sky. But they are getting closer and closer to that western horizon. So if you want to see those this year, well, jump outside as soon as you can. Because in another few weeks, you won't be able to see them until much later on in the autumn and winter time. And then, rising up, we have some of our springtime stars starting to come up out of the east and southeast over here. So rising up, we see a nice bright moon on March 15th. And just... Where that moon is in the sky, we can also make out Leo the lion. So that moon is kind of right in the middle of that sort of backwards question mark shape of Leo the lion right there. He's got a very bright star down here called Regulus, which means heart of the king, uh, which is very fitting because it sits right in the chest of Leo the lion, who we can see right here. So Leo is going to be starting to rise up. We also have our Big Dipper and Ursa Major the great bear in the sky. They're still visible towards the north, which we can see over here. And we can still see the Little Dipper fairly easily as well. We just follow the two stars from the bowl of the Big Dipper to point us to Polaris, the North Star. Then we know that we're facing towards the north, and we can find the rest of the rather dim stars of the Little Dipper. So these are what we call circumpolar stars. They're always going to be visible. They never set on the horizon around Chicagoland and most of the Northern Hemisphere. Uh, but they do move around. They'll spin around up there in the sky. So we see uh, the Big Dipper and Ursa Major is a little bit higher up in the Northeast, whereas a month or two ago it was down closer to the horizon. And it will continue up across the sky. Eventually it will be almost right over the North Star, so that the bowl of the spoon is upside down. And that happens right around the time of the start of spring, or in the early spring. Um, and it's a good way to remember that when the dipper is upside down, all of the water is spilling out of it, and those are the springtime rains coming down. So when you see the big dipper upside down, you know that you're in the springtime. Just in case you ever go time traveling and need to figure out where and when you are, you can use that handy little trick. Now, unfortunately, there aren't really any planets that are going to be visible around 10 o'clock tonight or 9 o'clock on March 15th. But if you're feeling adventurous, you can find some out there in the sky. Let's fast forward our time a little bit. There we go. We're going to speed it up 
quite a bit here because we're going to have to wait until the sun begins to come up. Let's turn on our planet markers. We see we're now passing midnight, one, two, three, four o'clock. Let's slow it down a little bit. So once we get to around five and then closer to six o'clock, we can start to see Venus and Mars rising up over the horizon just before sunrise does. Now, Venus will be very bright and very easy to see. It's one of the brightest objects we can find in our skies. But it is close to the sun. It's the second planet in our solar system from the sun. And so it is always very close to sunrise or sunset. Just so happens to be close to sunrise during the month of March. So you can spot it. You'll just have to wake up pretty early in the morning, around 6 o'clock. Go out there and watch towards the east, southeastern part of the sky. And you should be able to spot a very bright Venus coming up just before the sun rises. And then as the sun continues to rise... Eventually, it will rise completely, and we will lose that bright Venus in the sky. It's still there. It's just the sun is so much brighter than it that we can't see it anymore. Um, so if you want to see a planet, go out there and check very early in the morning in mid-March, and you should be able to spot Venus. Well, thank you, everyone, for joining us as we took a look at the skies during the evenings in the month of March. Again, my name is Wayne from the CERN and Earth and Space Center. Remember to like and subscribe for more space content, and also come and give us a visit here at the Space Center. We're doing public shows on Saturday evenings, so check out our website for more information on that. Hope to see you soon, but until you come in and check us out, well, remember, get out there and take a look at your nighttime skies.